opportunity would like to extend our condolences to the families of the Humboldt, Saskatchewan Broncos Junior A Hockey as they deal with yesterday's tragedy. Please stand for a moment of silence in support of the Broncos. Thank you. Please remain standing for the playing of our national anthem. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're live from the Jack Byrne Arena in Torbay, Newfoundland, Labrador for the Bantam AAA Atlantic Championship this morning. We have Team New Brunswick playing against Team Nova Scotia. We just finished the National Anthem. And before the National Anthem, I will mention we had a moment of silence. The hockey world has heavy hearts today thinking about the accident out in Saskatchewan yesterday where a hockey team was involved in a series accident, 14 lives were lost at last count. So from 5TV1 and all the organizers of the Bantam Triple A Atlantics, we just want to extend our heartfelt thoughts and prayers to the family and friends of all the families who were involved in that accident. We're here this morning, as I mentioned, Hockey Nova Scotia being represented by the Gulls, Hockey New Brunswick represented by Northwest Bulls, this is day three action at the Bantam Atlantic Championships, and there's a lot on the line. Nova Scotia is looking for a win. That would certainly boost their chances getting in, giving them eight points in the round robin. Hockey New Brunswick comes into day three with one point, but however, they have two games, and with two wins, they can end up with five points as well. Still not sure that would get them a spot in the championship game, but certainly could give them possibility of playing in the bronze medal game. Play continues in the neutral zone. Puck is chipped off the boards. Nadeau, Nadeau puts it into the zone. Nova Scotia is on the defense. We've got Noah Gibbs working the puck behind the net. It comes around the back of the net and Adam McDonald picks it up. He puts it into the slot area. Knifed into the neutral zone, however, good read by New Brunswick defense and keeps the puck in. Puck shut down the ice and for the first time in the game it will end up in the New Brunswick zone. Puck comes back to the point here, Furlong. Furlong looks, he chips it into the corner. Puck behind the net, trying to get that into the slot area. However, that didn't work out as planned. New Brunswick breaks out now. Nadeau tries to play the puck in the neutral zone. That's just a little bit too hot to handle. The puck is chipped down and it's Cooper. Cooper coming down from Nova Scotia. He has a nifty little move to avoid a body check there. Dempster defending here one-on-one -on -one with a good battle with Cody Rossinal. And Cody ends up getting the puck deep into the Nova Scotia zone. Play is with a good pace to start this game on Saturday morning. We get Dempster. He knifes the puck out. 
He gets it to Connor McNamara, brings the puck in, and he gets a shot on net, and that is stopped and held by Matthew Parker. Matthew Parker, number 31, gets the start for the Northwest Bulls on this Saturday morning. And his counterpart, counterpart in the other net played yesterday, Noah Harvey, and he played a very good game. Shot from the point, deflected. Good opportunity there for Nova Scotia. Puck shot over the glass, bringing a stoppage in play. Uh, doing today's game on the officials, we have Bruce Murphy and Adam Fitzgerald wearing the armbands and making the penalty calls, while Matt Kenny and Sean Doyle doing, uh, among other duties, the offsides and the icings working the lines. Puck over Keating. Keating takes it and hammers the puck into the corner of New Brunswick. Rims right around, comes to this side where Dempster picks it up, brings it to Keating. Keating up, knives it in there. And Nova Scotia goes on the attack again. Puck is rimmed around the far side. That's going to be Nicholas Brennan picking up the puck. He moves the puck in the neutral zone, a long pass. It's kind of successful. A little bit of a scrum that ensues on the far side. And we've got Dempster. Dempster hammering off the board. Who goes down. Hunter Gartley picks up the puck. He goes D to D. And it is fired lengthy ice, giving New Brunswick defenseman an opportunity to change. There's a reverse. Devine throws it back to the other side. Comes up for Cam McDonald. Big Cam McDonald. He got a burst of speed. Got a bit of room. Takes a shot. That one's high. What a blistering snapshot Cam McDonald took that time that goes just over the net against Matthew Parker. Nova Scotia with another chance. This time they're trying to hit Norris. McDonald and Norris coming up with numbers. However, the puck comes back out and Devine gets the puck. He moves the puck to Madigan. Madigan to Kale McDonald. Kale McDonald the puck. Nifty little move there. A little bit of miscommunication between the two Nova Scotia defensemen. Norris comes up the puck. He still handles a little bit. Then he moves it ahead. Moves it ahead for Kale McDonald. Kale McDonald comes up and is turned over once more. This time, the, what a close, what a smart move there. The no, New Brunswick going for the line change. Cam McDonald coming, Cam McDonald coming, draws the first penalty. New Brunswick is going to be killing a penalty here against the strong Nova Scotia team that scored a number of goals on the power play so far in this tournament. Both referees with their arms up here, they come in to have their little conference to make sure that they have the same call on the same player. I was going to make a comment here about the smart play at the New Brunswick bench. Uh, the defensemen were going for a change, and uh, Nova Scotia shot the puck into the area of the New Brunswick bench. And uh, as the player was coming on the ice, he saw the puck was coming, he stepped back into the bench, and the puck did hit the skate of the player going off. Had the player coming on the ice, stayed on the ice, that would have been too many men penalty. However, shortly after that, there was an infraction and Nova Scotia still goes on the power play. Klein, Klein, far side there. There's a shot, blocker save, scramble in front. Puck is loose, no goal indicated by the referee. And play continues down low. Back here to Klein, Klein can shoot the puck. He had a hat trick on day one. Klein swerving, leaves the puck there for McDonald. Adam McDonald in the corner there for Carruthers, he gets a shot towards net, a scramble in front, and there it is, a power play goal to open the scoring at 15-22 of the first. As we mentioned a number of times, special teams are of the utmost importance in games like this, and Nova Scotia strikes on the power play to give them the one to nothing lead over New Brunswick. 15-22 left in the first period here. The early goings. Nova Scotia coming right back for more. Carruthers. Oh, and now we're going to even it up. And this time, we're going to get an interference call against Nova Scotia. The Gulls. Coming to the penalty box. Looks like it might be Camden Pellerin going in for two or less for interference. 
So it gives uh, New Brunswick a great opportunity to get right back into this game. Special teams is everything. Let's see how the power play works. New Brunswick and penalty kill for Nova Scotia. Gartley gets the puck. He moves to the other side of Nadeau. Nadeau plays on the back end for the power play. Quite often from New Brunswick. The puck is brought in by Perrant. I believe that's Perrant holding. Takes it. No, that's Gibbs. Nice move. Shoots. Save. Rebound this side. Just misses this side by Nadeau. Two good opportunities for New Brunswick right there. Parody fighting for the puck. He ends up losing. Cooper. Cooper forechecking hard. The puck is into the neutral zone. There's a bump there. Dempster gets the puck. He fires it through the neutral zone and into the just over the blue line. Now we got Parody coming in again. Parody dumps the puck in deep. We got Noah Harvey out handling the puck there. It didn't get too far. The puck is in the corner. Dempster is battling with Parody. Shot towards net. That one's blocked. And out comes McNamara. McNamara just knifes it in, throws it at the net, and that gives the penalty killers from Nova Scotia a good chance to change, and that's what they do. New Brunswick breaks out. Puck picked up. This could be trouble here. Nova Scotia player bumped. The, I believe that was Gagnon who was, had the puck in the slot and hit with the body check, prevent him from going farther. Nadeau coming with speed and handling the puck. We're going to have another penalty here against Nova Scotia. We're going to see five on three action for a little while. Backhand shot. Shot in the slot. Touched by Nova Scotia. Referee looking there, and it's a slash going against, going against, I believe, Jacob Newcomb. That means that New Brunswick will be five on three for 31 seconds. So face off to the left of Noah Harvey. We got Brennan Melanson. Cody. Rector there on front as well. Nova Scotia, five on three, gets the puck in the neutral zone. New Brunswick picks it up, gains the zone. Hesitates right there, has a look. That's Tromley, Tromley shoots, there's a big rebound. Nova Scotia player lost his stick. McDonald, he couldn't clear the puck. There's another shot, Harvey holds on. Gives an opportunity for his uh, teammate to pick up a stick and the change. So. We've got line changes going on for both teams. Just looking, we got Gibbs, we got Parity. Not sure of the number, oh, that's Perrant in the middle, Nadeau. And Sheen on the back end. The five on three is over. Pellerin leaves the box, heads to the bench. That means it's five on four action now for a minute and 28. This is a great opportunity. Extended power play for New Brunswick. Klein comes off the bench for Nova Scotia now. Him and McDonald are going to be up front. Dangerous penalty killers for Nova Scotia. Back to the point to Nadeau. Nadeau into the half wall. Into the slot area. It's picked off. However, when Klein went to clear the puck, he hit his own player, McDonald. Puck is on this side of the rink. Parody with it. He's having a look. Parry takes it back to the point. There's a shot in the screen. That shot there from number 14, Braden Sheehan on this side of the power play. He's out there with Nadeau on the back end. Nadeau over to Sheen. Sheen behind the net. Takes it up to Parity. Half board. Cross ice pass picked off up there. That one was dangerous. However, New Brunswick regains possession of the puck and they're coming through the neutral zone with numbers. Good play there by Justin Keating to get the puck and just hammer it down the ice. New Brunswick breaking out of their own zone with half a minute left in the power play. Through the neutral zone, over the red line, gets the blue line. That's Sheen. Sheen now gets into a battle with the puck. Dempster with it, high off the glass, but not out. Oh, yes, it is. Parody couldn't quite keep it in. And then this call on the offside. 17 seconds left. For player number 17, Jacob Newcomb, on his penalty. New Brunswick will have an opportunity for one more attack here on the Nova Scotia net. From the faceoff, Nova Scotia gets the puck, hammers it down the ice. I believe that might have been Lethan Carruthers, got the backhand there, made sure it just got out of harm's way. 
Very passive forecheck on this penalty kill. Somewhat unusual for the Nova Scotia team. All the way up this side to Rector. Newcomb comes out of the box. We're at even strength, five on five. So the penalty kill was successful for Nova Scotia, an extended penalty kill along with a five on three. The puck is still in Nova Scotia's zone. That's Brennan. He just kind of dumps it into the corner. Puck picked up over there by Keating. Keating rims it. He gets it up to Purdy. Purdy, he's through the neutral zone with the puck. He's stopped by Alex Tromley. Takes the puck and hammers it down the ice. That one goes on net, so there's no icing. Nova Scotia with lots of time as New Brunswick goes for the line change. Devine coming up on this side with a bit of speed. Gets the red line, has the blue line, throws into the slot area, comes back to Devine. Devine is not sure where it is. He takes it, cycles it down low for Stephen Purdy or Stephen Purdy. Stephen comes up to Wall. Loses the puck and is dumped out into the neutral zone. Nova Scotia tags up and puck is dumped in deep again. Out of the net to handle the puck is number 31, Matthew Parker. And New Brunswick breaks out of the zone. Nifty little stick handling move there to get in. However, Devine was there to pick off the puck and not allow New Brunswick to make any more progress. We got Cooper. Cooper fires it the full width of the ice. Drew Madigan takes the puck. He hammers it in, but it was in on the offside, resulting in a stoppage of play. Good action. Saturday morning at the Bantam AAA Atlantics at the Jack Byrne Arena. Want to remind you folks, we're live and interactive. If you want to send out a tweet to at Whalen7626, you can do so. We'll do our best to get it on the, the air. Furlong gets the puck. He's up off the boards. He moves over there, McDonald. McDonald. McDonald up to Cameron McDonald. Puck rimmed around the boards there. There's a big bump on the wall. A little bit of physical play there. That's good to see this morning. Nice, clean physical play. The puck's kept in there by Adam McDonald to Cam McDonald down low, out in slot. Here's another penalty. This time going to New Brunswick. For a slash. And that was the referee in the end making the call. That's going against number five, Cody Rossinal. Two minutes for slashing. Again, we'll see the Nova Scotia power play, how they set up. Looks like Cooper, McDonald, McNamara. Adam McDonald and Furlong on for the Nova Scotia power play. Face off one cleanly. Comes to Furlong. Furlong in the corner to McDonald. Cam McDonald over this side. Not quite clean enough. Went back door. There's two saves. Tremendous goalkeeping there by Matthew Parker. Puck comes back to the corner. Adam McDonald. Cam McDonald. He passes down low. Tries to give him goal play. That was broke up there rather nicely by Braden Sheen. Nova Scotia shoots. Cam McDonald misses the net wide. Cam McDonald with the one-time shot. That was a cannon, and that missed the net. Furlong, he's passing into Adam McDonald. He tries to give and go from that side. Over to Cam McDonald. Cam shoots. He passes into the slot. Here's the rebound. No, nice save there by Matthew Parker. And the puck is dumped the length of the ice, allowing New Brunswick to get their penalty killers changed up. They've got to be somewhat tired after that 55 seconds of action they're in. Pass up into Cooper. Just a little bit too hot to handle. Alex Tromley picks up the puck. He attempts, attempts to dump it down the length of the ice. And then Keating has his pocket picked there by Sebastian Melanson. However, he recovers the puck, goes behind the net for a safety and starts to skate the puck out. There's a long pass into the neutral zone, knifed into the offense. Oh, Nova Scotia player missed the puck resulting in an icing call bringing the face off back into the Nova Scotia zone again Nova Scotia with 39 seconds left on their power play however have a face off in their zone Nova Scotia coming out of their zone. Dempster has to retreat. Puck goes behind the net. That one there was picked up. Now we have a little bit of room. 
for Justin Keating. He gets into the neutral zone and backhands it. Diagonal dump right across and deep into the New Brunswick zone. Nova Scotia working a power play from the half board. Throws into the slot area. Almost deflected there by Newcomb. And the, uh, Matt's... Matt Darris gets the puck and fires at the length of the ice for New Brunswick. Now the New Brunswick player comes out of the box and bumps Gagnon right there in a large way. Gagnon goes down rather hard, but he's up quickly. Now he has the puck, and he gets a nice little move on the dough. Gets to across the red line, dumps the puck in deep, allowing New Brunswick to kind of regroup and break out. Nadeau with the puck. He's patient. He has a look. Nice little soft pass there for Gibbs, but slightly into his feet and couldn't handle it. Tromley picks up the puck. He fires it over. Now we got Devine. Devine to Gagnon. Gagnon still with the puck. Oh, he loses it to Nadeau. Nadeau. Nice stick check there by Devine to prevent Nadeau from doing any damage. Puck into the far corner there now. That's Gibbs working. He's down low to Perron. And now Gagnon picks up the puck. Or I'm sorry, yeah, Jacob Gagnon picks up the puck and brings out the zone. He battles along this wall in the neutral zone. Devine with it. Devine gives it over to Klein. Klein ends up on the ice. He doesn't like that, and he gives a little whack, and the back referee saw it. So that means Nova Scotia going on the penalty kill. Klein knows it, too. He just stops and directs himself towards the bench, has a look at the New Brunswick bench, trying to get a number. And he is called for the slash. That's one of those retaliatory penalties. Coaches hate to see. You got to have discipline in big games. Klein, very, very valuable player for this Nova Scotia team. Doesn't want to be spending too much time in the penalty box. Shot clock showing seven apiece. Power play, New Brunswick. Tramley to Nadeau. Nadeau, Tramley. Tramley, parody, parody. Dumps it in. Perrant chasing the puck down. Along with Gibbs. Puck comes to the point. Nadeau, nice little move to keep it in. Nadeau takes the shot. That one almost gets through, but just misses wide. Puck gets out. Here comes Nova Scotia. They're dangerous. I believe that's Carruthers. He tried to play it over here, but just a little bit ahead of Purdy. Purdy still in the battle there. Furlong taking a little bit of a stick check there, trying to prevent the shot from getting on net. Perrant back to the point. Tromley. Tramley over to Nadeau. Nadeau, he's having a look. Feeds it back to Tramley. One time shot. Oh, Noah Harvey sees that one and he makes the glove save. That was some good puck movement there by New Brunswick. A minute and nine left in this penalty. And we're going to get a face off to the left of Noah Parker. Noah Harvey, my apologies. I just said a minute ago, shots were 7 7, now 10 7 New Brunswick. That was Jacob Long. He had his shot blocked here by Cam McDonald. Pucked on the board, Cam McDonald working it. And Jacob Long, good battle there. Nova Scotia ends up with the puck, gets to the, the Cam McDonald, and they come away two on one. Cam McDonald's got a bit of room. He shoots, but that one's handled rather nicely by Matthew Parker. Glove save. Good opportunity there for Nova Scotia on that penalty kill. And also get a face-off in their offensive zone. They'll always take those whenever on the penalty kill. Offensive zone face-offs are a good thing. McDonald takes the draw. Pushes it through. Gets a shot. I believe it hit the crossbar. Comes back here. There's a shot. Heavy shot. Nice shot there. Just looking there for the number now. I'm sorry, but that was number 18, Justin Keating. Just checking in on Twitter here. A little action here today. So we have five minutes and 18 seconds left in the first period. It's a one nothing lead for the Gulls over the Bulls. <clears throat> New Brunswick skating out of their own zone. Puck dumped in. And we have a icing call there. Didn't quite get the red line. Yeah. Am I on here now? Okay. And the play continues here Saturday morning. 
Saturday morning at the Bantam AAA Atlantics. One nothing lead for Team Nova Scotia over Team New Brunswick. New Brunswick being represented by the Northwest Bulls. Hockey Nova Scotia being represented by the Gulls. Hockey New Brunswick, the Bulls taking advantage of being the home team here this morning, getting that last change in. However, it was a little bit too slow for the linesman. Like he doesn't allow the centerman to take the face off. One cleanly there. That face off, one cleanly by Noah Gibbs. New Brunswick with the puck. They're playing catch there in the corner. Now it's Sheen comes out with the puck. Nice long pass there. That one's picked up by Parody. Parody takes the puck. He fires it in. Penley's expired. Five on five action again with four and a half minutes left in the first. Nova Scotia picks up the puck. And that five on five was very short lived. As we've got a cross checking Penley being called behind the net against, I believe, Justin Keating. Get his number here, number 18. Yes. Justin Keating, two for cross-checking with 4.31 left in the first. His team holding on to a 1-0 lead. Face-off to the left of Noah Harvey. That's won by Nova Scotia. Devine takes it behind the net. He thought about eating up some seconds and did. Back here to Tromley. Tromley to Nadeau. Nadeau to Tromley. Tromley's got to make slick here to keep the puck in. He throws it into the corner. Nice bump there. Good work by Noah Gibbs to Perrant. Perrant tries to get it into the slot. No luck there. Nova Scotia picks up the puck. Drew Madigan backhands it out. And now the puck comes into the New Brunswick zone. And that will kill off a few more seconds. And that will allow for a change for Nova Scotia. Cam McDonald. Dangerous on the ice, whether he's short-handed, power play, or even strength, is now on the ice for Nova Scotia again. Parody pressuring the puck carrier and stop, keeps the puck in. Nice play by Parody. Brant picks it up. He moves the puck to Parody all the way over to the other side in the dough. He has a look. Shot there, saves, rebound, and Gibbs in there looking for that rebound. But Noah Harvey stands up and says, "Nothing happening on this one." Good action here, good opportunities for New Brunswick to pull even here early in the game. 3.35 left in the first period. Five on four action with New Brunswick having the advantage. Face off, one there by New Brunswick. Rector, he brings it back to the point. It comes to this side here to Gartley. Gartley puts it down into the corner. And then there's a battle pursues on the half wall. Puck comes out, it's Hartley. Hartley to Thibodeau. Thibodeau holds the puck, back to Hartley. Hartley, this time on the far side over there to Rossinal. Rossinal ends up in a battle with the puck and New Brunswick wins that battle for now, but here comes Cam McDonald. He comes in, in between the feet, comes around to D, backhand, and hits the outside of the net. Good individual effort there. McDonald still battling for that puck and keeps it in the New Brunswick zone. That one's picked off there by Kale McDonald. Kale McDonald comes in and he takes a shot from a loaded dot. That's not getting in. That's not going to beat Parker. You want to shoot from better locations than that big fella. Again, the faceoff is to the left of Matthew Parker for the Northwest Bulls. Got a little delay here again coming off to New Brunswick bench. See if they allow the centerman to take the draw or if they're going to pass him. A little bit of miscommunication going on here. The officials insist that uh, I believe it's Thibodeau come back out onto the ice. A little bit of confusion there on the New Brunswick bench and New Brunswick players. Got it all straightened out now and they win the faceoff. They get the puck and they're coming out on the attack. However, Furlong says, no, we're not going to have any of that. He chips the puck all the way in. Comes back again to McDonald. Adam McDonald. He takes the puck and just hammers it down the length of the ice. Alex Tromley picks up the puck, but he's being pressured. Three New Brunswick players, then they come up with the puck. Now New Brunswick comes up, get the red line, try to chip it in. Oh, there's an opportunity for parity, but that quite couldn't pull away. On the far side. We have Justin Keating trying to get the puck in deep. No, Nova Scotia going for the delayed offside. Gives New Brunswick some time here. Gets the puck out. However, not very successful. 
But now Nova Scotia plays the puck into their own zone, and Dempster mishandles it, ends up in the corner behind the net now of Noah Harvey. And on that side, we have Noah Gibbs. Noah Gibbs working with the puck. It comes down low to Perron. He fires it all the way around to this side. That's Jacob Gagnon. He gets it out and clears the zone. Nadeau was there to pick up the puck. He moves it to Parody. Parody got a nice little move there. He's on his backhand. No, it was a weak shot. And his second attempt was wide. Ron Dempster gets the puck. He clears the zone. Hammered right back in, but because of the late offside, Nova Scotia has time to come. That was Dempster to Gagnon. Gagnon to McDonald. Kale McDonald, that is. He's working in the corner. Comes back to point to Dempster. Dempster, nice shot selection. Almost elected to deflect it in front there. Good save by Matthew Parker. And now we got Brendan Sheen coming from behind the net with the puck. He tries to play it up the board. Mishandles it. Kale McDonald gets it. A weak, weak shot there. And Matthew Parker up to the task. He just holds on to that puck. Taking away the pressure from his team. And at the same time, I believe there was an infraction down around the net. We've got a hooking call. Or is that a, a sparing penalty? Four minutes, I believe is the call on that one. We'll, we'll see if we can listen for that one. It is four minutes up on the clock showing for Penley. So there's another extended power play for Team New Brunswick, giving them a good opportunity. There's a minute and nine left in the first period. They'd love to get one now before the end of this period. So New Brunswick with the puck on the half boards in their zone. There's a little battle going on. Tramley, big Tramley gets the puck. That one ends up getting turned over. There's some nifty stick handling. Again, Big Tromley comes up and he starts to wheel up on this side. He gets the Lex to high off the glass and in deep. He goes after his own dump in, as does Perrant and Gibbs. Gibbs gets tries to get back in the dough. However, unsuccessful. Tromley backhands and keeps it in the zone. Nova Scotia clears. Nadeau has to go back and retrieve the puck. However, Parker takes the puck, moves it to Tromley. Tromley to Nadeau. Nadeau tried to hit parity. That one there was picked off by Carruthers, and Carruthers takes a shot, deflected, goes over to the side boards. Perrant takes the puck. He just passes into the middle of the ice where Tromley gets it. Tromley gets the red line. He's in off the boards and in behind the net where Nova Harvey. And Gibbs is first one to the puck there. Gibbs takes it. He plays it back to Nadeau. Nadeau to Parity. Parity shoots. High shot. Try to be deflected in front of the net there. That was Perrant, but Perrant couldn't get the stick blade on it. Noah Harvey makes the glove save and holds on. Bringing us down to 5.6 seconds left in the first period. One face-off, one opportunity. Do they have a set play? Puck dropped. Nova Scotia gets it, clears it, and that should finish this period. Great action to start the Saturday morning hockey at the Bantam AAA Atlantics. My name's Chris Whalen, and I'll be back the beginning of the second period to bring you all the action. off the beaten path and then there's this place Newfoundland and Labrador
antenna is holding, sir. Yes. Bravo. <laughs> yes, indeed. This is going to make your world a lot different than the one I grew up in. You know where England is? Sure, it's over there. And over there is where that sound is coming from. Right, Mr. Marconi? Through the air, across the ocean, the first time ever. There's nothing faster than light. Fiber optic uses light to deliver the internet. It's the fastest internet technology. So you can share, learn, stream, or do whatever you want at the speed of light. And only Bell brings fiber optic internet right to your home. As a kid, wherever we went, we, we went by pedal bike. Just imagine pedaling your bike every day, going the carpoon to Lance Mendoza. We've been all over the place here. We went in every nook and cranny and climbed across the roof and hung on the beam. You know what young fellas like. When this is here, you come and explore. My character is Ragnar, and my role is a blacksmith. Talk about where the Vikings got their iron and uh, smelt it down and turn it into nails. The Vikings. Yeah, I think they're they're still here. <laughs> Progress of our ship. Your fleets will have no further need of Iceland. Fish is enough to feed this kingdom. Oh, sire, until the end of time. This is going to make your world a lot different than the one I grew up in. You know where England is? Sure, it's over there. And over there is where that sound is coming from. Right, Mr. Marconi? Through the air, across the ocean, the first time ever. Over. 
there's nothing faster than light. Fiber optic uses light to deliver the internet. It's the fastest internet technology. So you can share, learn, stream, or do whatever you want at the speed of light. And only Bell brings fiber optic internet right to your home. on the grabs as they await the American champs. Here's the Cleveland favorite Knits now, and boy, do they look impressive. Look at their uniform. I bet you could sure run in smart shirts like those. Not that. Look, world champs in my eye. Brads, we don't play for glory. We play the game for the game's sake. So tonight, you're going to earn that title by playing your game. Teamwork, passing. Let's show them what it means to play the grads. <laughs> were champions for 25 years. The record of 502 wins and only 20 losses is unmatched in all of sport. There's nothing faster than light. Fiber optic uses light to deliver the internet. It's the fastest internet technology. So you can share, learn, stream, or do whatever you want at the speed of light. And only Bell brings fiber optic internet right to your home. Senor Caboto! On that, sir, you won't believe your eyes. Progress of our ship. Your fleets will have no further need of Iceland. Fish is enough to feed this kingdom. Oh, sire, until the end of time. Senor Caboto. On that, sir, you won't believe your eyes. Go. Captain, over here! You must see this! Look out the cap, down there!
Hello, folks. We're back at the Jack Byrne Arena with live action of the Bantam AAA Atlantics. Here we are on 5 TV One, bringing you the action. My name is Chris Whalen, doing the play-by-play. -play. Good news for you and me alike. I am now joined by Chris Ryan in the broadcast booth. Welcome aboard, Chris. Uh, great to be back here again this morning, uh, Chris. I'm sure we're in for, for ex some exciting hockey here this morning. Absolutely, and you may have heard Chris Ryan last night bring you the play-by-play -play of the final game on Friday between the host team and Hockey Newfoundland Labrador representatives, and I believe H&L won 4-1, to one, was it, Chris? Yeah, it was a 4-1 win for the Tricom Thunder. Uh, Tricom came strong out of the bench last night, and uh, it showed scoring, I believe it was 30 seconds into the game, and they just carried wow. the play from there. Hitman never showed up with much life last night. Very good. Let's get to the action here. We got Hockey New Brunswick on the power play for another minute and 55 seconds. Spearing penalty was assessed in the first four-minute double minor. We have Tromley back at the point. Tromley, he walks to the side, gives it to Thibodeau. Thibodeau can't quite get it through. They're setting away. Oh, and we had Norris almost breaking through there on a breakaway. Norris, nice move there to get a hold of the puck. Nadeau, Nadeau takes it. He passes through the neutral zone. It's take the puck and it's dumped back into the New Brunswick zone. Here we come, New Brunswick with pressure. That's Parody. Parody takes a shot on that. That's stopped by Noah Harvey. Parody works the puck into the corner, gets it back to the point there to Gartley. Gartley knifes it in. Back to Gartley again. Gartley takes the shot. It's deflected, goes high over the glass and into the netting. You know, Chris, I'm just looking out here on the ice now and I see number eight for the goals, Cam McDonald. I got a message last night on Twitter from uh, his uncle Jimmy. Cam, uh, Cam has a lot of family here. His dad grew up in Gander, actually. So he's got a lot of family in watching this, uh, this uh, tournament and supporting him. His dad played a couple of seasons with the Gander Flyers. And as his uncle Jimmy told me, his dad liked the scraps. So as I said to him last night, I can see where Cam gets his aggressiveness from. And here comes Cam McDonald with the puck now. Two on one, shorthanded from a bad angle. Shoots and it gets through. That's what goal scorers do. They take the bad angle shots and they turn them into goals. And that's exactly what Cam McDonald just did. Yeah, that's, that's a nice shorthanded goal there, that's for sure. Yeah, a little bit of Twitter action here. Leah Sheen is saying hello. She just says, thanks for announcing, cheering on the Bulls and Braden Sheen from Hartford, New Brunswick this morning. So hello there to Leah. Terry Lovett says he's watching the Gulls on the Rock. Go, Gulls, go from Halifax. And Jake, Jessica Newcomb says a shout out to my brother. Number 17, Jacob Newcomb on the Gulls team. Your sister is watching from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Awesome work. We got this. Go, Gulls. So thanks there for being interactive with us, guys, and helping us out on this broadcast. Nova Scotia coming again. It's Klein. Klein winds up and takes a big shot from right in the slot. That goes high and over the net. And here comes Tromley on this side. He stuffs it in. There's something you don't see very often. A shorthanded goal and a power play goal on the same penalty. Definitely not. That's a nice finish from end to end there. And uh, that's, uh, that's good uh, for the uh, Bulls to get on the board here now with 17-21 uh, left to play in this second period. We're in the early stages. Big Alex Tromley lugs the puck, lengths of the ice, and just muscles it way in. That puts a different perspective on this game altogether. We are now 2-1 early in the second. Nova Scotia gets to the red line. Keating dumps it in deep. That goes to the right there of Matthew Parker. Nova Scotia, Nadeau with the puck. He smartly comes back with it. Then off the glass and down the ice. That was going to be an icing. I like the little move he made Chris to come back and buy himself some time, yeah. but then he just hammers it high off the glass and out. High off the glass, yeah, definitely didn't work in the favor, I'm sure, which he, he had planned on, but uh, either way, they'll uh, they'll take a face off there now to the uh, to the right of the goaltender. Let's give credit where credit's due. That young Nadeau is quite an intelligent hockey player, Cer Joshua Nadeau. Certainly is, yes. New Brunswick wins the faceoff. Puck comes around onto this side. That's Gibbs. Gibbs going into battle and goes down. Puck comes out. 
Talk about Joshua Nadeau. There he is, getting the puck up to his linemate. That's Perron. Stick handles. Here's an opportunity. Mishandles the puck. Shot there now goes high and wide. Nova Scotia breaking out of their own zone. Coming through the neutral zone. Gets the red line into the blue line. We've got... With the puck into the corner on this side of the ice. We got a nice little battle going on. New Brunswick comes out with the puck. They try to hit Nadeau. Nadeau can't make contact with the puck on the offensive side, neutral zone, resulting in an icing. So they're announcing Tromley's goal there, and of course, unassisted. Great action here in the second period, Chris. I believe the uh, intensity picked up just a little bit. Yeah, I caught a little bit of the uh, first period there when I was on my way here to the rink this morning and uh, the intensity seemed to be good, but uh, the intensity here thus far, just uh, three, uh, 3.44 into this second period, it seems to be uh, it seems to be there, that's for sure. That was a clean face-off win by Nova Scotia. Gets right to Cooper, sticks to Cooper, takes a shot, but Parker up to the task, gloves that one. Face off there. Nova Scotia comes up with the puck temporarily. Now they get it back. There's a shot, hits the post on the bad angle, comes into the crease, and Parker holds on to it again. That was a bad angle shot, and I think he got post on that one. Very close to making it a 3 1 game. However, the goalie's best friend comes through and makes one of their stops. Face off to the right of Parker. McDonald, he's got one of his favorite moves is to uh, push that puck ahead and then pick it up on the other side of the faceoff. Here's McDonald with the puck. He's coming in with Cooper. He drops the puck back for Furlong. Furlong puts it into the corner. Gartley there, he moves the puck behind the net. Another penalty coming up. I believe this one is going to the Bulls. Looks like it's probably gonna be a hooking penalty here. Yeah. That's Cody Rossinal ending up in the box for two or less. And you're right, the signal from the referee, Chris, is a hook. Power play, Team Nova Scotia with no offensive zone faceoff to the left of Matthew Parker. Puck comes back here to Furlong. Furlong steps to the middle. He shoots. That one is low, didn't miss by much. McDonald, Adam McDonald over on that side with the puck. Trimmed around this side here. Cam McDonald picks up the puck. McDonald having a look. He's patient. He passes it over to the far side to Adam McDonald. Adam McDonald to Cam McDonald. He misfires. Puck is in behind the net there. I believe that's McNamara with the puck. He moves it up to the half wall. TJ Norris working the puck there. A little bit of a bump going on. Adam McDonald, he gets it back. Oh, just mishandled a little bit there by Furlong and comes out into the neutral zone. And then he's being pressured there by Sebastian Melanson. And now Cam McDonald comes up with the puck. He's got a rush outside. Shoot, scores! A nice goal Man, there. that guy can shoot. Man, can he ever shoot that puck. He, I thought he was on a bad angle. And he somehow found it in on this far side, on the catching glove side of Matthew Parker making it three to one. Cam McDonald just puts this team on his back and says, let's go for a ride. No, it's good to see, you know, being so far away from home, you know, you, you get a couple of parents that travel with the team, you know, and it's great to have that support there, but you never have the same support as you have in your home ring. So, so uh, Chris, I'm just getting this straight. Did you say there's some new flam blood in that kid? Or yeah, just his yeah, father no, played his, there? No, his father is from <laughs> Gander, yeah. Oh, so there that's you good go. To see. There you go. We're gonna take some credit. Definitely, that's for sure. And I see that we have a goaltending change here now for the Bulls. Looks like Isaac Sparrow's gonna take over in net. From the faceoff, Nova Scotia gets control of the puck. Gagnon knifes the puck in. Klein on the rush there, chasing down the puck. It ends up behind the net, and Perrant goes back and throws in a check. There's the first test there for uh, Sparrow, is it Sparrow in net there? Uh, yes, Isaac now, Sparrow. Yep, right, Sparrow, that's the first test for him and he comes up and makes the first stop. And this is a, a pretty well must win for New Brunswick. Klein coming through, but I tell you, 
That was a nice defensive move. Yeah, he, he just got his shoulder in there to take him to, down, and it was cleanly done. That was Alex Tromley, I believe, who got just enough of Klein. And we've seen enough of Klein here this weekend to know that he can be very dangerous if he gets through. And as I mentioned, Tromley got just enough of him. And uh, both players went down, and it was into a heap in the crease there. Yeah, I was saying there, Chris, uh, how can New Brunswick have one point here? If they got any hope uh, playing in the tomorrow, you know, they got to come up with a win at least here today. Um, it, they have two games, so the destiny's in their own hands. And if they win both games, that's going to bump them up to five points there, you know, and that's going to put them in the around PEI Hockey Nova Scotia right now, the host team with four. But, of course, those teams all have a game to play today. So depending on what happens, um, you know, so it's a must-win game for New Brunswick. Definitely. Um, you know, uh, obviously every team comes into this tournament. Their goal is to play at 12 o'clock tomorrow. But, uh, you know, if you're not playing at 12 o'clock, the next best thing is to play in the bronze medal game, 9 o'clock, I believe it is. And uh, everybody wants to play on Sunday. That's for sure, yeah. So, Nadeau smartly picks up that puck, come down off the off wing, takes a top shot. That's uh, deflected off the stick of the bond and almost finds the short side. Noah Harvey was moving from his right to left, and uh, that deflection almost found the corner net there. Yeah, he had an open net there. That was a great defensive player to keep that puck out of the net and keep, uh, keep the goals lead uh, up to two. Yeah, net knocked off the moorings again. I think that's a typical we, thing that we've seen here all week long. Yeah, we've seen it quite frequently. But the net knocked off the moorings. That's going to give us a face-off to the left of Noah Harvey. And Nova Scotia picks up cleanly and rushes out of the zone. Poor pass into the feet there of Cale McDonald. He wasn't able to handle that hot one. Nova Scotia regroups, breaks out rather nicely, makes the first pass, and then a nice cross-ice outlet pass. Here comes Cam McDonald looking for that hat trick. And he takes the shots that deflected high over the glass into the netting here at Jack Byrne Arena. We see uh, Isaac Sparrow, of course, coming in off the bench. It's a tough thing to do at any time. But he's doing a couple movements, a couple stretches, trying to get into this game. As I said, he was tested once and came up big for New Brunswick. Yeah, it's good to see. You never want to see a goaltender come right off the bench and get scored on early. You know, they want to get some confidence under the feet, and especially a, a, a great test like that early when he come in. That'll probably give him a little boost of confidence. Puck down into Nova Scotia's zone. Adam McDonald picks up the puck. He brings over there to TJ Norris. TJ Norris to Cal McDonald. Cale McDonald. Cale McDonald dumps it in and Cam McDonald on pursuit. He throws his weight around. Referee deems it was a little bit late and he's going to get a boarding call there. So Cam McDonald's going to the box. Shots 17 apiece at this point in the game. However, score 3-1 for Nova Scotia with 13-14 left in the second period. Again, we rely, remind you we're live and interactive. You can get me at Whalen7626. And Chris? My Twitter handle is at CRyan94. So we'll again get send us a tweet and we'll do our very best to get it on the air for you. Great action here Saturday morning. Last day to round robin in the Bantam Triple Atlantics. New Brunswick coming out of the zone rather nicely. They get the red line. That's Perron. He chips it in past the Nova Scotia defender. Gets the puck into the corner. Now it's time for New Brunswick to come up with the puck and get some little bit of puck movement going on, which is just what happens here. Thibodeau to Nadeau. Nadeau across, looking for that one-time shot on the off wing. Back to Tromley. Tromley shoots. Deflected. Big rebound. However, Nova Scotia was in place to get the puck and put it into the corner out of harm's way. Perrant in the corner. He gets it back to Tromley at the point. Tromley's got top. He does the little toe drag, taking the puck outside. Nova Scotia gets the puck. No hesitation. Fires at the length of the ice. And we get that second period change for the penalty killers. All four penalty killers head to the box. And two of the power play players for New Brunswick. New Brunswick coming out of their zone. Tromley. Can he do a replay? He's down that far side. This time he chips the puck in. It goes in deep. There's a battle pursuing right there. We got Nicholas Brennan in on the puck. Puck comes over this side. Oh, Hunter Gartley kind of blew an edge there. He looks a little bit hurt. Two on one, Nova Scotia. Shot saved there by Isaac Sparrow. Isaac Sparrow again coming up big for his team. 
coming in off the bench and playing well thus far. Good opportunity, shorthanded for Nova Scotia there. As I mentioned, I believe the player was Hunter Gartley. Went down. He looks a little bit of discomfort on the bench there, Chris. Yeah, he certainly does. It looks like he's favoring his knee a little bit there. But as you went back, uh, Chris, uh, Isaac Sparrow coming after. Yeah, he's come up big in the couple of times that he's been tested here. And it's good to see. Hopefully he can give his bench a little bit more momentum going forward. I mean, they're only down by two, and there's still a lot of hockey left to play in this game. Braden Sheen with the puck across the red line. That's an offside play. New Brunswick going to have to tag up, giving Nova Scotia lots of time to come out and clear clear the puck the length of the ice gets a shot on net there and I believe that was uh, Cooper Davis Cooper for Nova Scotia on the forecheck and it is Davis Cooper fires the puck down the length of the ice again and again a player goes down that this time it was Isaac Sparrow must have caught an edge there coming out of the crease to handle the puck there Braden Sheen around the back of his net that runs into trouble here. Nova Scotia player, great player to dive and throw it down. It gets to Carruthers, to back to the point here. To Dempster, Dempster shoots, he's wide. Sparrow out diving out of his crease, trying to cover the puck. Referee lost sight and blew the whistle. Both teams gonna make a full line change here now, so fresh, some fresh legs for both. I see the goaltender now, he's starting to spray some water in on the pegs again. I mean, you know, it seems to be a, a problem here today where the net is coming off his moorings. So, you know, hopefully that doesn't put too much of a delay in our games here today. It's good, you know, to see when the pace of the game gets moving that there's no delay that has been for something like that. Here's Madigan with the puck in the neutral zone for Nova Scotia. He just gently touches it ahead there for Newcomb, Newcomb squeezes past Tromley, still with the puck from a bad angle, tries to get the short side, but nothing happening there. Puck over here to Devine. Devine gotta take two whacks at it to keep it in, but he does. Puck now and over on the boards there, battle there with four or five players. Devine takes it, he shoots. Tromley knocks that one down and stops it. He's pressured, puck goes into the corner. Madigan gets it to Newcomb, Newcomb chips it in towards the net. Newcomb still pressuring the puck, and New Brunswick takes it, and they have to hammer it down the length of the ice. This one will be called for icing. Chris, it's good to see the five-on-five -five play, let the teams get back into the flow. Yeah, it is good to see, you know, obviously, you know, you're gonna get those uh, those penalties that are gonna be caught, you know, sometimes it's, uh, it's a retaliation, as you said earlier in the first period, and sometimes it's just a, a bad decisional play by the player themselves. But you no, know, it's good to see when we have some five on five action because we've got we've got some great hockey here, and it's good to see those players be able to uh, to be able to showcase their talents. The linesman throws both centermen out. McTamara in to take the draw now for Nova Scotia. As is Gibbs for New Brunswick. Gibbs comes up with it, plays it back to the defender there, up on the boards. However, Madigan gets it. Nice shot there. Blocker save back here again to Madigan. Madigan looking, he kind of toe drags and shoots it into the legs of the defender. Gibbs for New Brunswick. Puck in the neutral zone now. We've got Newcomb coming in. He's looking, he shoots, he scores! We talked about Farrow coming in and making some saves. That one got off the blocker and kind of just floated in the air over the goal line. Yeah, that's an unfortunate goal there for Isaac Sperry. You know, it seems like he said he, he made the initial stop with his blocker and it just rolled up over his shoulder and so happened to go back into the net. That, that's unfortunate there. Big 4-1 lead halfway through this game. There's 9.38 left in the second. A big, big game for Hockey Nova Scotia. If they can pull this off, this jumps them up to eight points and put them in first place after the first game on day three. Not a bad place to be. No, that's, that's, that's for sure. They get eight points by virtue of a, uh, an extended shootout win on day one, where we saw 22 shooters before it was finally decided they beat the host team. So they picked up two points for that. Uh, then they beat the, uh, just trying to think back through now here, yesterday. They, beat the PEI they had Warriors. to beat PEI Warriors yesterday in a very entertaining game where I think their power play served them very well. And now today for this game here. Yeah, certainly their power play so certainly worked well for them. And their, their penalty kill, I think, worked even better yesterday for them. Absolutely. So the only blemish, really, Nova Scotia, they're looking like they're on the power play now. Possession of the puck moving around. 
And now getting thrown a big hit is Kale McDonald. Those McDonald kids, there's three of them in Nova Scotia, and they're all big kids. Yeah, they certainly are. I think that's where the advantage Nova Scotia has in this game. I mean, if you look across the benches, you know, they've got they've got a tall team, they've got a broad team. Uh, when you look towards the Bulls here, you know, they've got a couple of smaller guys there. You know, yes, they have their, their couple of bigger kids, but for the most part, you know, Nova Scotia has a bigger team here. Yeah, I was going to say about the only blemish, the only loss that Nova Scotia suffered was in the first game. And, you know, if you're going to have a loss, it's a good time to have one. And in a short-term event like this, what you want to see is you come into the tournament, your team gets better and better and better as it goes along. And that's what Nova Scotia's done here. So they're going to be a threat here this weekend. There's no doubt whatsoever about that. And uh, the game that they did lose was a very close-fought game with Tricom Thunder on uh, day one. Yeah, it's good First to see game. that they put that loss behind them. You know, they worked yep. on it and they worked towards. That was a big win for them again the, later that night against the host team to come up strong in the shootout. So it, it's good to see it makes a tournament like this it's very successful. Here's Nova Scotia on the attack one more time. That is Klein with the puck. He moves it back to Keating. Keating takes a shot. That's a pad save directed over into the corner. Carruthers with the puck. He cycles it down low. Klein picks it up. Purdy in after the puck. Comes back to Keating. Keating to Carruthers. Carruthers shoots. That goes through the slot area and wide of the net. Klein bumps his man over there. He's getting some support there. There's power in numbers. Short side. Shot saved by Sparrow. That rebound directed behind the net. Well done there by Isaac Sparrow. Puck in behind the net there. New Brunswick net. Good battle. Comes back to Keating. Keating thought about shooting. Thought better of it though, didn't have a lane. He throws in to Purdy, Purdy tries to put it in the slot. That hits the net, Carruthers goes after the puck. He leaves it for Keating. Keating takes it out, mishandling on the blue line. Oh, oh that's, a, that's late a late penalty. Hit. That's a late that's hit That's a late here. penalty, he's that's, going. That's poor sportsmanship there, you know, down by three goals and to take a hit like that. I don't like that one. No, sir, not at all. What will be the call? What will be the call on this penalty? That'll be interesting. Two minutes for roughing. And you know, what else can you call? Yeah, there's really not much else here to call. You know, he didn't hit him into the boards. You know, it was definitely not from behind. He had the late hit, yes. You know, I, I, I got to side with the referees here. That's that's a hard decision to make. I'm glad they did take a penalty there because, you know, he's deserving of a penalty. But, you know, what else is there to call there? Yeah, and, and the Nova Scotia coach wants to have a little uh, chat with the referee, which they're doing right now, and that's all fine and good. However, the thing about it is, like, the referee can't just assist, assess a game in conduct for a body check that was late. You know, it's the same if someone moves the puck and three seconds later they get hit. You know, um, that's basically what we saw a little bit earlier. Same McDonald. thing, you know, there's no injury on the play, so. That, and that's a factor. Good point there, Chris. Anyways, power play. Chance to do some damage. Madigan pumps. He holds it. Divine. Cross crease. Oh, couldn't pull the trigger. Cam McDonald. Hit with the puck on the half boards. He still has it. He's looking for that hat trick. He banged it in. I believe that was Carruthers. Carruthers come in there with the stick, banging it in there. And I'm not sure if it was Carruthers. I don't know, we had a couple of players tied up there in the crease and they just tapped it home. I'm not sure which one it was. Or it might have been Cooper. I'm not sure, but whatever and whoever, it sure makes the score five to one. And you know what? Those are the kind of power plays that you really want to score on. You want to kind of rub it to the face. Like you said, it was a late hit, not called for, and uh, you, you love to be able to score on those ones, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely, and certainly. Tromley retreats into his own zone. He has the puck, rims it behind the net. Up there with Pellerin. Pellerin working the boards very well. Pellerin comes off, goes to the far side. He hands it to Cooper. Cooper in behind the net. He tries to get to the slot. We have Pellerin over there. He couldn't keep the puck in. Madigan picks it up. Madigan off the boards. Nadeau. Nadeau gets the puck. Nifty comes through the neutral zone. Nice little move there. He still has the puck. Now he's going, oh no, he pulls the delay tactic and holds on. And he gets rocked. He gets rocked. He held on to that puck just a little too long. He got the point back. He got the puck back to uh, Gagnon. Took the shot. He was wide. Here comes New Brunswick again. Shot high off the glass, and we got another penalty coming up. This time against New Brunswick. Cam McDonald blew, blows an edge as he tries to drive the net, and uh, J 
Joshua Nadeau disagrees with the call there by the referee. Do you see the call there, Chris? Yeah, slashing was the Slash. call there, yep. Probably retaliatory, was it? Yeah, I, I think, yeah, a little bit of retaliatory. I mean, I think that's where the Bulls need to reset. I mean, there's 6.17 left in this second period now. You know, they just got to try to get out of this period now without getting scored on again. But, you know, I, th I think it's important for them to go back to the dressing room and, you know, just settle things down. Yeah, okay, guys, we're losing by four. Let's try to get one. Let's, let's try to build momentum back up to get another goal or two. Okay, we've got the power play. Nova Scotia again. And they've been lethal. Newcomb, Newcomb down low. Norris coming out of the corner. He passes across ice there for Adam McDonald. Adam McDonald takes the puck down and behind the net. He's going for a little escape. Newcomb looking for the puck. He gets it. Passes to Newcomb. Down low, giving go attempt. No, not going to work this time. Norris comes up to the half boards. He gives it down low. Giving go that time. Didn't quite work, but a nice shot there by Norris. Then a save by Sparrow. Comes back here to Furlong. Furlong. In the Newcomb. Newcomb shoots. Oh, he just misses the far side. Not by very much. Adam McDonald. Adam McDonald into the slot. Norris couldn't pull the trigger. Puck comes over here to the half boards. We got a foot race for it. Nova Scotia wins. Keeps the puck in the zone. Newcomb chips it in behind the net. There's a big hit. Nice hit there. Newcomb ends up with the puck again. Puts it down low for Norris. Norris wheels behind the net. He's holding on to it. He's having a little bit of puck protection. He gets knocked down. He gets bumped there by, I'm not sure if that was Tramley or Sheen. Cross ice. Here's a chance in front of the net. Deflection. I think that uh, Jacob Newcomb would like to have that one back. He had it on his forehand. Just quite couldn't pull the trigger. Comes back into Newcomb. Newcomb on the half wall. He puts it into the slot. There we got a player going to the net rather hard. Gagnon, Gagnon, nice deflection, just wide. Nova Scotia still with the puck. Size and strength factor is coming into play here. Cam McDonald across the slot. He couldn't get it. He couldn't get it to Kale McDonald. Shot wide, Isaac Farrell elects to hold on. Yeah, that'll about do it here. Now we're back to five on five action, you know. And kudos to Isaac Sparrow. You know, he made some nice saves there to keep this game at the score that it is 5-1 in favor of the goals. And uh, it, it was a good penalty kill by the Bulls. But it was an even better power play, I think, by the goals there. A little bit more Twitter action here, Chris. We got Susan. Susan says she's cheering on the goals from Pentalon. Go Davis Cooper. Your family is watching. And Terry Lovett's chipping in with his opinion. Gulls, Cam McDonald, MVP. He would certainly be a candidate, I Terry. Think I tell you that. In the I, race for that I, got, I got to agree with you. He's a candidate. Definitely, that's for but sure. But there's a number of very good players in this tournament. But like we said, today's game, he's put this team on his back. And really, throughout the tournament, um, he's been a large contributor to the success of Nova Scotia. He wins the face-off draw as we speak about him and just takes the pocket turns and shoots and almost beats um, Isaac Sparrow he's for the Hattie. He's for the certainly Hattie. proven why he has a C on his chest here in this game today, that's for sure. Nova Scotia wins the face-off again, trying to take the puck to the net. And uh, we have not seen much. Oh, here's Peter another penalty. penalty. coming up. Another penalty. This time... It's for interference. And you know, New Brunswick can't keep taking these penalties and defending. We've seen the Nova Scotia power play, Chris. It's way too lethal. It is, you know. Uh, we've said it time and time again in each game as the tournament goes on. When the particular team keeps getting these penalties, you know, you can only kill it off for so long. The opposing team's power play has to work at some time. Your goaltender can only stop so many shots. He needs some help, too. And the power play continues. Down low is Nova Scotia. Handling the puck with control. Comes back here to Dempster. Shot. Deflected wide. Carruthers into the crease. Doesn't get through. Over on the far side. Coming back here. Having a look to Dempster. Over here to Carruthers. Carruthers shoots. That one misses. Referee rules and goes out. And he says it was deflected out. Face off. Okay, maybe it wasn't deflected. Face off coming in neutral zone, Chris. Yeah, straight uh, straight up off the boards into the netting. So we're going to see the face off outside here now. Purdy taking the face off. 
against, I believe it was Gartley, but no, uh, Nicholas Brennan for New Brunswick. And Brennan picks up the puck. He fires it into the Nova Scotia zone. We've got Nova Scotia. Justin Keating buying a bit of time behind his net. Nova Scotia breaks out. Carruthers touch it. Goes down deep into the zone. Back official indicating icing. Front official saying no. New Brunswick gets the puck and they rifle it around the boards. Nova Scotia retreating into their own end. Wide D to D pass. Puck moved up there to. Oh, what a nice little move there by Cameron Pellerin. He puts in the slot and it wow. bounces in. Cameron Pellerin, a la Sidney Crosby. Another Nova Scotian player that's played in this tournament. Uh, I believe that might have been but, Carruthers, though, Chris. Oh, was it Carruthers? That was Carruthers, yeah. A shot okay. there into the slot from behind the net. That gets tangled up in Isaac Sparrow's feet, and that one finds his way to the back of the net. Another power play marker for Nova Scotia. And as I mentioned, Sidney Crosby has played in this tournament. I don't think our good friend Steve Power wants to talk about it too much because <laughs> I believe he was coaching Avalon and Crosby did the damage against them. We in the were talking about game. that earlier in the tournament off air. He was, yeah, he did coach against uh, Crosby in this tournament and uh, I believe it was in overtime that they, they lost. Yeah, I believe so. Heartbreak for the Avalon Celtics of today. Anyways, Nova Scotia back on the attack. We've got Madigan with the puck. He chips it in along the half boards there. And New Brunswick comes out, Nadeau, nifty little Nadeau. He comes across the blue line. He stick handles into the middle. But then he runs into the Nova Scotia wall that breaks him up. Nice pass there, it gets inside. Here comes Cam McDonald, backhand, almost gets through. What a defensive play. That was Jeremy Thibodeau, saved the goal. Anthony Perron, he gets the shot away. That was saved by Noah Harvey. Out comes Nova Scotia again. This time it's McNamara, McNamara. He gets squeezed into the wall. Puck deep into the corner. Here comes Gibbs over the red line, over the blue line. He's carrying a puck. He's got his feet moving for sure. Pulls the delay tactic at the hash marks. Throws it in the corner for Nadeau. Nadeau behind the net. That puck sits up on back of the net, and the whistle blows, bringing a stoppage in play with a minute and 20 left in the second period. Uh, the goals have really taken control over this uh, this game here now in the second period. They're now out shooting the Bulls 32-19. Uh, I've got a wonder, you know, a 6-1 hockey game. I think this one may be over. There you heard it. Chris Ryan made the prediction. But we've got a full period and some more to play yet. I gotta agree, Chris, it'd be pretty difficult for New Brunswick to come back. I think so, yeah, Her Hervey's been playing well. Daniel Klein in there fighting for the puck. He gives it over here for Newcomb. There's a shot, that hits Gagnon. Furlong dumps the puck in New Brunswick zone. New Brunswick over in the corner there. Good battle going along. And New Brunswick picks up the puck and lobs it in. Here's a foot race here. One by Parody. Parody puts it in the slot. There's a shot. Didn't get the wood on it that he wanted to get on it. Uh, Chris, we just had a message handed us up here in the booth. Uh, we want to say hello to Marilyn and Daniel Devine watching from Sprayfield, Nova Scotia. Thanks for tuning in, folks. We're hoping you enjoy uh, our broadcast here, as well as this hockey game, as we've got some talented young uh, hockey players here from across Atlantic Canada. Thanks a lot there for that, Chris. And uh, while, you, while we're on those shout-outs, it's worth mentioning that uh, Ian Haverstock's daughter, I believe her name is Bella, is the Gulls number one fan and I'm told that when she's not in school she'll be watching all these games online and Coach Haverstock and all the Gulls want to reach out to Bella and say good Saturday morning and they're going to be working hard for you. Hope to finish off this game the way they started it. Puck in Nova Scotia zone in the Gulls zone. They come up with the puck. Puck played up to the half boards. Hammer not out. Held in by Tramley. Dempster, or I'm sorry, McNamara with the puck. He comes around back at net, gets out into the neutral zone. This time it's Kale McDonald. Kale McDonald takes the puck. Justin Keating finishes the period with the puck on his stick, and that brings us to the end of the second period where the Nova Scotia 
representatives, the Gulls, have six. Hockey New Brunswick, the Bulls, have one. We'll be back to bring you all the action in the third period. off the beaten path and then there's this place Newfoundland and Labrador going to make your world a lot different than the one I grew up in. You know where England is? Sure, it's over there. And over there is where that sound is coming from. Right, Mr. Marconi? Through the air, across the ocean, the first time ever. There's nothing faster than light. Fiber optic uses light to deliver the internet. It's the fastest internet technology. So you can share, learn, stream, or do whatever you want at the speed of light. And only Bell brings fiber optic internet right to your home. As a kid, wherever we went, we, we went by pedal bike. Just imagine pedaling your bike every day, going on the carpoon to Lance Mendoz. We've been all over the place here. We went in every nook and cranny and climbed across the roof and hung on the beam. You know what young fellas are like. When this is here, you come and explore. My character is Ragnar, and my role is a blacksmith. Talk about where the Vikings got their iron, and uh, smelt it down and turn it into nails. The Vikings. Yeah, I think they're they're still here. <laughs>
codfish, so thick they stayed the progress of our ship. Your fleets will have no further need of Iceland. Fish is enough to feed this kingdom. Oh, sire, until the end of time. Is holding, sir. Yes, bravo. <laughs> yes, indeed. This is going to make your world a lot different than the one I grew up in. You know where England is? Sure, it's over there. And over there is where that sound is coming from. Right, Mr. Marconi? Through the air, across the ocean, the first time ever. There's nothing faster than light. Fiber optic uses light to deliver the internet. It's the fastest internet technology. So you can share, learn, stream, or do whatever you want at the speed of light. And only Bell brings fiber optic internet right to your home. on the grabs as they await the American champs. Here's the Cleveland favorite Knits now, and boy, do they look impressive. Look at their uniform. I bet you could sure run in smart shorts like those. Not that. Look, world champs in my eye. Brads, we don't play for glory. We play the game for the game's sake. So tonight, you're going to earn that title by playing your game. Teamwork, passing. Let's show them what it means to play the grads. <laughs> were champions for 25 years. The record of 502 wins and only 20 losses is unmatched in all of sport. There's nothing faster than light. Fiber optic uses light to deliver the internet. It's the fastest internet technology. So you can share, learn, stream, or do whatever you want at the speed of light. And only Bell brings fiber optic internet right to your home. Senor Caboto! On that, sir, you won't believe your eyes. Progress of our ship. Your fleets will have no further need of Iceland. Fish is enough to feed this kingdom. Oh, sire, until the end of time.
Welcome back, folks. Third period action. New Brunswick takes the puck immediately and fires it in. Third period action in the 2018 Bantam AAA Atlantic Championship here at the Jack Byrne Arena. Again, before we go any further, we should give some credit to Tim Power, chair of the organizing committee and the whole organizing committee for the tremendous job that they have done in organizing this tournament. They run a first-class tournament every time they put one together. Play continues, six to one for Nova Scotia. Puck comes outside of the, their zone. Gagnon breaks up the play. And New Brunswick brings the puck back in one more time. Devine to Gagnon. Gagnon to Newcomb. Newcomb into the corner. Klein pursuing the puck. That's into the goaltender. And he holds on and makes sure nothing further happening. We still got Isaac Sparrow in net, yes. Number 30 came in partway through the game in relief. That's a tough pass. Sitting on the bench for half the game call, Chris. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely hard. You never just want to see a goaltender come in like that. Especially it's risky for injuries too. Puck back to the point, shot directed towards net. Sparrow's up to that task, directs the rebound over to the fire boards. Puck chipped in off the glass, goes around to the far side. There's a bump by McDonald. Bump. McDonald, the big, strong kid, as we've mentioned. He knocks down his player, then ends up going down on the ice himself. Puck is passed over to Nadeau. Nadeau and Dempster are into the foot race there. And Nadeau takes Dempster to the boards. Done rather nicely. Norris up to McDonald. Cam McDonald coming outside. He takes a shot from the bad angle. That one is stopped. We had Cale McDonald going to the net with him. Cam McDonald comes up with the puck one more time. He comes in, shoots. Sparrow makes the save. 33-22 shots. Score 6-1. And I think, you know, that, that's fair indicative of, of the play. Yeah, it's, uh, it certainly particularly is. Particularly the second period, not so much the first. No, but second period, the goals really took the play over. And, uh, and like you said, it's, it's predictive of the shot clock and, and score clock. Puck over on the far side of the rink there. Nova Scotia keeps the puck in. Worked into the slider, shoots, scores! That was number 20. Camden Pellerin with a nice shot, goes high and beats Sparrow on the blocker side. Makes it 7-1. Yeah, 7-1 game, six goals spread here. Let's hope that, uh, you know, both teams can keep emotions under control. Uh, you know, for the goals, you know, they're, they're still going to have another game. It looks like that way. So, I mean, they don't want to be uh, having any players sit out as well. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, one of the considerations you get this stage of a game, like I said, the last thing you want is to have a suspension and a kid mix, miss his next game. The puck in New Brunswick zone behind the net. Tried to put out in front there by Carruthers, but no luck. Not happening. New Brunswick breaks out. They try for the long pass. However, no one touches it. It goes the length of the ice, and icing will be the call. As the Chicago Blackhawk goals song is played in the background. Face off to the right of Isaac Sparrow. We got Stephen Purdy taken for Nova Scotia. Won by Nova Scotia. Carruthers takes the puck. He directs it towards the net. That hits the side. Puck down low now. Nova Scotia retaining possession of the puck. Adam McDonald walks across the blue line rather nicely. He shoots. That's wide. Comes back over to the half boards. Nova Scotia quick to get the puck again. That's broken up there by Rector. And then finally cleared by Braden Sheen. Goes the length of the ice, resulting in an icing call. Yeah, it seems like Bulls are just getting the puck now and uh, throwing it down. Can't seem to get any kind of a breakout going here against this uh, powerful gold teams. They've come on strong since the uh, second period, and they're, they're, they're carrying it up again in, in the early in the early stages of this third period. Back here to Devine. Devine chips it into the half wall. Now he's got a back pedal because the puck gets behind him. Nadeau, Nadeau is racing for the puck. However, it goes to length to the ice, and that one is called for icing as Nadeau and Madigan skate toward the puck. Chris, uh, 
if Nova Scotia holds on and wins today, what's that do for them? So basically, if Nova Scotia wins now, uh, that's going to give them eight points, which will bump them right up into first place. Um, and uh, it'll give them uh, basically a bye right into the gold medal game. Even if PEI is fortunate enough to win against his host team, they'll tie uh, Nova Scotia, but Nova Scotia uh, bet them yesterday in the game. And uh, basically, a win here for Nova Scotia now, they're right in the gold medal game. There you go. So that would be the goal of any team coming into the tournament is to play in the gold medal game. So number one goal achieved for Nova Scotia. And I'm gonna say, should they hold on? However, a very commanding seven to one lead here in the third period. But as we've mentioned time after time, Hockey New Brunswick has showed their perseverance. Well, here's a chance for Nova Scotia. Big save by Sparrow, gets that left pad out. I was saying how New Brunswick has showed their perseverance. There's another shot by Cam McDonald. That one goes wide. You know, I think this, like you said, this team do have a lot of perseverance. Uh, you know, I was reading there before this team come here that, uh, you know, I don't think that this Bulls team was expected to be coming to an Atlantic championship like this. No, that's right. The, the, the story is that they uh, finished seventh in their provincial league and then they went to the provincial championship tournament and the format is that the uh, seventh place team has to play the first, the second, the third, and the fourth place in their four games. They end up with a two and two record. Then they had to play in the semis and they won there, I think it was three to two. And then they had to play the finals and they won that one nothing in overtime. So uh, this is a team, I'm telling you, they can play some good hockey. Nadeau with the puck as New Brunswick goes on the power play. Nadeau hammers it in. He's gonna play forward this time on the power play. We've got Perrant, Perrant with the puck. He's working it. He's trying to hold on to it. Kept in there. Perrant holds it, hammers, but he miss swings. Fred Gagnon retreats into his own end. Takes the puck behind the net for a bit of safety. Nice move there. We got the four checker in front of that, just waiting for the New Brunswick to make their move. They get the red line. Perrant dumps it in deep. And we got Gibbs on the other side and Nadeau. Nadeau, nifty little move there to hold on to the puck. And again, he spins and holds on to it, throws it into the slot, and Nadeau ends up with the puck another time. It's into his feet. He's not quite sure where it is, but he gets it again. And it comes back to the point. Kept in there by Tramley. Or Braden Sheen, pardon me. Braden Sheen. He gives it to Thibodeau. Thibodeau coming in. He's wound up. Blue line. Forehand, backhand, he takes a backhand shot, goes wide into the corner. Puck goes to the far side, kept in there by Sheen again. On this side here, Thibodeau gets it in. Nadeau in pursuit. Dempster coming out of his own zone. He gets his pick pocket. Nadeau, nifty, nifty, nifty move. Picks the pocket right in front of the net, and then he just tick handles around. Noah Harvey in the net there, making it seven to two. And that's the kind of thing that we can expect it to see from Nadeau, Joshua Nadeau, with a wonderful, wonderful single individual effort scoring for New Brunswick. Again, it just shows the perseverance of this team, you know. And, uh, you know, the Bulls, they're, they're still gonna be on the power play here with 2.33 left and when they scored that goal. So that'll just drop back to two minutes now. And they're still on a five on four uh, power play. Power play marker for the New, New Brunswick. For the Northwest Bulls, whoa. As Steve Power would say, that was a demon of the Jack Byrne Arena reaching up to grab the player and haul him down. New Brunswick with the puck, deep in their own zone. Passes up this side here, nice little first pass. Then it gets up to Parody. Parody with the puck. Big hammer shot and hits the crossbar. That face, that's going to put the face off just outside that was, the blue line. I believe that might have been uh, Jacob Long wound up and he cranked it. Yeah, that was, that was definitely a great shot there. Got everything into it. Everything. We got Tramley retreating with the puck behind the net to his defense partner Long. Long back to Tramley behind the net. They start to break out of their zone. Here comes New Brunswick. Rector with speed. He does have speed. Over in the far side to Brennan. Brennan working in the corner. 
Comes to Adam McDonald. Adam McDonald backhands it. He gets it up to Purdy. Purdy gets out into the neutral zone, making New Brunswick retreat and regroup. Here comes Nadeau again. He couldn't handle the puck. Kale McDonald takes the puck. He fires it deep in the zone. Sparrow handles that puck nicely to Nadeau. Nadeau tries to stick handle past Carruthers, but Carruthers says, no, not happening. Carruthers takes a shot. That one goes wide. Goes to the far side for Madigan. Madigan can't keep it in, and New Brunswick starts to pressure. That's Perrant. Perrant with the shot. That one's handled there by Harvey, and he holds on for the faceoff. You know, going back, that, that was a great play there by Sparrow, you know, and uh, for um, Nadal, they, they, they really read the play well. You know, it's too bad it was intercepted there, but that was a great play with a, a possible good opportunity for Nadal to come down and get another goal here in the uh, early stages of this third period. Thibodeau with the puck. He moves it over to the far side to Gagnon, Fred Gagnon. Devine passes the puck up here to Carruthers. Carruthers carrying the puck in. He gets bumped there by Thibodeau. A big hit. New Brunswick bench shows their appreciation for that. Penley's expired. We're five on five. Hockey again in the third period with just under 13 minutes to go. Madigan couldn't keep the puck in. Nice play to get it over on this side to Devine. And that play goes in on the offside. Just another reminder, we are live and interactive. You, we're on Twitter. You can reach out to me at Whalen7626. And you can reach out to Chris Ryan at CRyan94. Play continues now. That puck is dumped in Nova Scotia zone. Gets into the corner. Back out into neutral zone. Shot in on net. Held there by Harvey. Harvey takes it. Plays it there to his defenseman. Dempster with the puck. He just mishandles a little bit. Puck along the half boards here. And Parody picks it up. Parody starts heading to the net. He runs into a little bit of trouble. Sebastian Balance is providing support for him. Here comes Gail McDonald. McDonald shoots. He passes. Pellerin takes the shot. That one goes high and wide. Carruthers keeps the puck in. Dempster keeps the puck in. No. The battle is lost. Full marks there to Rector. And again, his speed getting into Nova Scotia zone. Rector with the puck on the boards here. Comes back to the defense. Up Rector again. Rector backhands it into the corner. Puck deep in Nova Scotia zone. Off the glass. Bumped. And McDonald. Cam McDonald coming in with numbers. Here he comes. Shoots the puck. He misses on the far side. Not by much. Nice low shot. Well, we got a delayed penalty coming up here, Chris. We do. New Brunswick touches the puck. And a head contact penalty again. I don't think we've seen so, so many of these today compared to what we saw so, in yesterday's matches. Yeah, particularly in the first period, I think all the penalties were stick infractions. The slashing uh, with his cross check, a spearing, things like that. So that's to the head. Four minutes going to be the call. Four minutes. Yeah, so we get to see the special teams set up once more. We've got uh, some more tri Twitter action here from MLH. Just saying, cheering from Canzo, Nova Scotia. Go Gulls, go, and enjoying your broadcast. And then Terry Lovett weighing in again. Thanks there, Terry. He says a big shout out to all the Nova Scotia Gulls moms for all the extra shots you do for the team. Go moms, go. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think there has to be a shout out given to all parents, uh, no matter what team it is. You know, they, they give up a lot of time. They give up a lot, you know, for their kids to be able to enjoy this great game of hockey. And, uh, you know, it goes to show because there's a lot of talent here uh, this weekend. Back to the McDonald. He winds up, shoots. Big save there by Sparrow. That was a heavy shot that uh, Sparrow come up and made the stop. Here's a cross slot pass. That one didn't get through. Back to McDonald. Newcomb gave it to McDonald. Battle along the boards there. Nova Scotia with full possession again. One time shot. Just misses by Klein. Over on this side. 
just missed the short side. Puck into the corner. Nova Scotia holding on to it. Coming back this side, Adam McDonald at the top there. Adam McDonald looking, he's giving it to Klein. Klein holding, he's stepping out towards the middle. He tries to throw it back door, gets a stick on it. Jacob Long got the stick on it. Nova Scotia regains possession of the puck, back to Klein. Klein walks across the top, right into the slot area, gets on his forehand, but doesn't shoot. He holds on to it, you see a bit of rotation. Adam McDonald goes to the bench for a change while Nova Scotia controls the puck in their, the zone. As does, back to Devine. Devine takes it. He moves it over here. He moves it to Newcomb. Newcomb throws it, but that one's out of play. We get a stoppage in play. Full changes here on both sides. Now, uh, oh, sorry, the uh, Golden Star only gonna change your defensive pairings here. Stephen Purdy coming in to take a draw. He's been uh, pretty good in the uh, in the center the, thus far this game. Madigan, he puts it to the half boards. He gives the puck to his teammate, Pellerin. Madigan at the point again, into Devine. Devine works it. He puts it down low. Coming around on the half boards, Purdy puts it down low, cycles the puck. Devine, the defenseman, is below the goal line. He puts the puck behind the net. It goes to the far side. Pellerin there, he's chipping in. Nova Scotia regaining possession of the puck, holding on to it, moving it back to the point. Comes D to D, Devine with the puck. He directs it towards the net. That was Drew Madigan giving it to Devine. Nova Scotia holds on to the puck. Devine, Devine shoots it towards the net. That gets through, but Sparrow sees it, and he puts the glove on him. More Twitter action there, Chris. Jane Davidson, she says, go Gulls. And Davis Cooper's grandparents are watching from Bedford. So to the grandparents, a Newfoundland, I know we call them Nanny and Poppy, or Granny and Grampy, whatever it is, I hope you're enjoying the game, and Davis Cooper's play in this game. And Peter Fowler, he chips in and says, loving the play-by-play -play from Fredericton, cheering for the Gulls Bantams, and Lethan Carruthers is our cousin. Go Gulls. That puck's just shipped out of play here up into the stand, so the face is gonna be back deep inside of the Gulls zone. <coughs> 8.39 left to play in this third period. Shots are 40-24 in favor of the Gulls. Carruthers over on the far side there. He loses the battle. Nova, New Brunswick clears the zone. Again on the power play. Nova Scotia for another minute. They come out of the zone. It gets over to this side here to Dempster, Dempster handles the puck over the blue line, takes it to the hash marks, he's having a look. He wheels behind the net, he's still looking for that teammate to give it to. He does, he finds Carruthers, but Carruthers couldn't quite handle it, it comes back to Nova Scotia blue line. Carruthers throws it up to Cooper, Cooper coming in. Oh, he could not get past the defenders. Noah Gibbs was one of them. And there's a someone looking for a big hit, and this is where discipline stays, is an important part of the game. And I believe Jacob Long was the other one stopping Carruthers on his rush. Nadeau with the puck, retreating back into his own zone. Finds the seam, puts it the length of the ice. Kills off a few valuable seconds. Party just about ready to come out of the box in four seconds. Nova Scotia breaks out. One last breakout over to this side to Dempster. Dempster skates past the box just as Parody comes out. And New Brunswick takes it and fires the length of the ice, and they were kind of looking for Parody, who was getting in behind the defenders of Nova Scotia, looking for that big stretch pass and a breakaway. Full change both sides here now. Uh, Faceoff's going to be back deep inside of the uh, Bulls zone. Uh, I think, uh, you know, 7.15 left to play here, you know. Uh, doesn't seem to be too much of... Uh, Intensity back and forth here now. Seems like we're just going through the motions. Finish this game off cleanly. Puck handled rather nicely there by Keating through the slot area. Holding on to it for a while. Now we have Klein. And Klein, he gets the blue line. He winds up. He holds. Fake shot there. He's still holding on to the puck. Just on the blue line. And then brings it back in. And that one is called on the offside. 
Yeah, Nova Scotia looking pretty good now, under the seven minute mark. And uh, as you mentioned earlier, Chris Ryan, that uh, should Nova Scotia hold on for this win in regulation, gives them eight points and will pretty well catapult them to the gold medal game tomorrow here at the Bantam AAA Atlantics here at the Jack Byrne Arena in Torbay. The new Brunswick coming on the attack. There's a shot, hits the post and up over the glass into the netting. Nice shot. Yeah, that, was that one was, uh, I think that's gonna put the face off uh, outside again. Yeah, I believe it was out. Anthony Perron taking that shot. And again, I think there's another example of the skill that we see in the kids these days. And I made the point there, when we watch these guys play hockey on the ice, they look like men to me and they play like men. However, when you see them in the stands, I'm reminded these guys are 13, 14 year old boys and they got a lot of development ahead of them. They, and they can do. come into some pretty good hockey players. And as we mentioned, there was a kid named Sidney Crosby played in this very tournament, as has Nathan McKinnon yep. and others. Tramley with the puck, he knifes it out into the neutral zone. Furlong with it, he's chipping it off the boards. It gets into the player's bench, resulting in a stoppage in play. Little bit of bumping going on here between Rosenau for New Brunswick and McNamara for New Nova Scotia. But again, we just, you know, I would think that both coaching staffs are reminding these kids they've got more hockey to play. And uh, the last thing in the world you want is get a foolish suspension. And the thing about it is now, we're in the last 10 minutes, so if you get a game suspension, that means your next game you sit out as well. You're sitting out, and you know, depending on what you get that uh, suspension for, it could be more than just that one game. Thibodeau keeps it in at the point. Devine breaks it up. He goes D to D. That one's touched off the stick of Thibodeau. Goes into the New Brunswick corner. Tromley skating behind it. Tromley's a big kid with a lot of strength as well. I gotta say. Norris with it behind the net. He's trying to find a teammate, looking for the slot. He gets to the half boards. He cycles down low, but they lose that battle there to Thibodeau. Thibodeau reverses it. He brings over to this side here to Tramley. Tramley off the glass and out. New Brunswick coming with numbers. Here's a two on one. New Brunswick passing to the slot. Whoa, I think he just missed pulling the trigger on that one. And Nova Scotia, they rebound and they're coming with Norris. He tries to chip it in, doesn't get it past the defender. Fred Gagnon, Gagnon bumped off the puck. Over to the other side, New Brunswick chips the puck into the neutral zone. Dempster for Nova Scotia, he has to retreat. He has a bit of time and space, however. Dempster has a look. Dempster, he's taking it behind the net. Out in front now, gives it to Norris. Norris, a cross ice pass to Kale McDonald. Kale McDonald, he loses the puck. It's turned over. Nova Scotia picks it up. We got the delayed offside. Puck into the neutral zone. Now they come back in. However, it runs into the New Brunswick wall, and that sends Kale McDonald to the ice, and New Brunswick comes back on the attack. Here comes Perron, backhand shot. Harvey can't handle that one clean. That falls to the ice. Nova Scotia again comes back out. We got end-to-end -end action here. New Brunswick is gonna come up with the puck. Jacob Long, Jacob Long chips it behind the boards. There's nobody over there. We got a foot race for the puck. Nova Scotia wins it, and they are outnumbered New Brunswick in the corner. Little battle pursues there. Noah Gibbs picks up the puck for New Brunswick, puts it down low, and then Nova Scotia gets a possession again. Perk Gibbs coming this time with speed through the neutral zone. He's got the red line. He's one on four, and he's still going. He loses a glove, but still follows the puck into the corner. He gets bumped off it. And now we got Nova Scotia trying to clear the zone, but unsuccessful. Cody Rosenall is there to keep the puck alive there for New Brunswick. And it is in behind the Nova Scotia net. Can't get it into the slot area. Nova Scotia picks up the puck, and they get it to the blue line, but not out. Second attempt, not out. Puck hammered back into the corner, again behind the net, behind Noah Harvey. This time it's over to Gagnon on this side. That's Gagnon for Nova Scotia, taking the puck and bringing it out. Okay, we have a penalty there. Looks like he's going to be it's a hook. Yeah. Hook and going, going to who, Chris? Uh, looks like he's going to Cody Risnall. New Brunswick with yeah. 3.23 left in the game in the third period. They're going to go shorthanded. 
Yeah, that's one of those so, uh, penalties where, you know, Riznal was coming behind, trailing the uh, the attacking, and, you know, just gets the stick up there, and that little tug is what made the uh, defending Nova Scotia player lose a little bit of control in the puck, and referee uh, signal for that one. New Brunswick wins the draw. They get it down the length of the ice. Furlong retreats behind the net for a bit of safety. He steps out, goes across ice. He gives the puck there. to Pellerin, Pellerin, he makes the wide pass, that's picked off, puck hammered down into the Nova Scotia zone and they come out again. That one's off Pellerin's skate and turned over and once again, New Brunswick gets the puck and hammers it down the ice. Furlong with it now, nifty little move there to avoid the four checker. Into the middle to Newcomb. Pellerin picks it up but he's gotta walk across the blue line. Ah. I think the linesman thought he was fine, and then he changed his mind. Yeah, yeah that was a split decision there by linesman uh, I thought, Kenny. I, I thought Pellerin did a pretty nifty job to walk the line and hold it right uh, on I, the I blue line. It, I thought he done well, yeah. But again, he had the, the linesman had a lot better position on it than us two guys That's up here. That's for sure, yeah. Yeah, we're sitting 40 feet or so from the blue line. He was right on it. Devine, the puck, throws it in deep. Tromley retreats. Hammers it off the glass. That one's getting out. And you see there how it slowed down in the neutral zone right in front of the benches. We've talked about the accumulation of snow there. Norris chips it into the middle. It's off Norris and into the zone. Laid offside. That'll give New Brunswick time. And Tromley takes it. And he takes the high wrister. Fires it the length of the ice. Matt Starris, one of the four checks there for New Brunswick. Madigan takes it, he just dumps it in, wide at net. Tramley bunts him's man, he knocks down, then he trips, get jumping over him. Puck stays in the corner for a few seconds. Tramley down again, but however, he holds on to the puck momentarily. Finally, Nova Scotia outnumbering New Brunswick in the corner, come up with the puck. Now they control it on the outside. They're having a look, it's back to Madigan. Madigan to Devine. Devine at the top, he shoots. That one doesn't get through. Comes right over to the forehand there. And another shot that goes wide. That was Stephen Purdy just shooting wide. And you can hear the slam into the goaltender stick indicating the penalty's expired. It's even strength, five on five. Rosnall out of the bench with a minute and 18 left in the game. 7-2 lead for Nova Scotia over New Brunswick. We're down to the final minute of action here at Jack Byrne Arena in the Bantam Triple A Atlantics. We're here on 5 TV1, bringing you all the action. And here comes Ganyan for Nova Scotia. He bumps with Tromley, that's a big hit. Puck gets into the slot area, behind the net now. He tries to stuff his short side. And yes, it did skip by, referee indicates it's a goal. Yeah, I don't think the referee uh, saw that one, but uh... Easy call there as uh, Sparrow hooks it out of the back of the net. A little wraparound goal there. Yeah, it was one of those situations where he stuffed it short side. And, uh, you know, he came in from there. So, obviously, it was between uh, the net and the referee. The referee couldn't see it. But uh, when the referee skated over, it was sitting there in the net. That means it's a goal. 48.9 seconds left in this game. Gagnon with the puck again. Stick handling in. There's the big shot. That one steered wide. Nova Scotia regaining possession in the zone with the last 35 seconds. The shot towards net hits the outside of the net and Sparrow elects to hold on, get another face off. 31 seconds left. And I think that it's pretty well all but over now. We've got the formalities to go through. So what happens now, Team New Brunswick, they regroup, they go have a team meal, focus on the positives of this game, and come back, and they have a game this afternoon at 3.30. I believe against the Hockey Newfoundland Labrador representatives to Tricom Thunder. Yes, you are right there, Chris. Nova Scotia, they get to go home, lick their wounds, and rest, and they've got 24 hours before they play again. They don't have 25 hours almost. They don't play till 12 o'clock tomorrow. And of course, there, there's a good teammate there reminding his teammate, guys, the game is over and we're playing tomorrow. Let's go celebrate. So again, 
the final, eight to two, in a hard fought match here on Saturday morning at the Bantam AAA Atlantics at the Jack Byrne Arena. Please come back and tune in for further action. I'm signing off, Chris Whalen for Chris Ryan. And on the camera, Mark Chafe and Daryl Redmond.